Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Kushpu and today we will see the question best time to buy and sell stocks. You are given an array of prices where each index represents the price of the given stock on ith day. You want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock. Return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction. If you cannot achieve any profit, return zero. Here are some examples given to us. In the first example, we are given the price wherein the maximum profit can be achieved by buying the stock on this day and selling it in the future when the price is six, which gives us six minus one, that is five as profit. In the second example, we can see that the prices go on decreasing in the future and so there is no day we can achieve a profit and hence the output is going to be zero in this case. Now let's go and see the constraints. First one is that the length of prices array that is the number of days that we are given is in between 1 to 10 raised to 5 and the price can range from 0 to 10 raised to 4. And one more thing that we know from this problem statement is that we just need to do one transaction that is buying a stock and selling that stock. We cannot do multiple buying and selling. So let's see how we can solve this question. Here is the price array that is given to us in example number one. And if we map it down into a chart, it will look like this. So on the day one, the price of the stock was seven. On day two, it was one. On day three, it was five and so on. So here's the chart. What we need to do in this particular question is find the lowest price wherein we can buy the stock and find the highest price wherein we can sell the stock. Now, the highest price can be found out to be here as well. But since this highest price is in the past, we cannot sell it at this price. We can only sell at this price which is in the future to buying the stock. Now, what are we exactly doing over here? Over here, we are going to find out a price in future that is higher than the current price or the lowest price that we have found out till now. So, we need to find a minimum price in the left and a maximum price in the right. This can simply be done by using an extra space that is by using an array for storing the minimum of its left and the maximum on the right. Let's see how we can do this. So here is our example and we we'll start with filling the min array. So we'll find the min till the current point. So we'll start with day one and the minimum over here would be seven itself. We go on doing this on each day. So when we go to day two, we have the minimum as one, which is the minimum till now. So we put one in this particular array for the index. When you go to day three, the minimum is still the price that we saw on day two. So we go and fill one, that is the price for day two in it. We go on doing this until we reach the end. Now similarly, we need to find a price where we can sell this particular stock. So we need to find the maximum and that we are going to find by moving in the opposite direction and finding the max. So on the day six, max becomes the price for that particular day, which is four. On day five, this becomes six because six was higher than four. Similarly, we keep doing until we reach the first day. So now we have the maximum and the minimum arrays, which represent that the minimum on its left and the maximum on its right. The profit that can be obtained over here is by simply saying that I buy at this price and I sell at this price, which gives us the profit array as this. So you can see that the minimum, that the maximum profit that can be attained is by buying at price one and selling at price six, gives us five rupees or five units as a profit. So in this approach, we are going to use extra space, which is of the length same as the length of the array that is given to us, which makes the space complexity O of n. Now, let's go ahead and code this particular approach out. And after this, we'll see an approach wherein we can avoid extra space and solve this particular question with O of one 
space complexity. So let's take a variable n that will denote the length of the array and now we'll take the two arrays left and right. Left of 0 is the initial value and right this is pre-filling the array. Now we need to iterate. So the left array gets filled with the minimum value in its left which becomes the minimum value that we have in the array or the current price. Similarly, we do it for right as well wherein we start from the end of the array. For the right, we take the maximum because we need to find out the price at which we are going to sell the stock. Now, once we are done with this, we take an integer max profit which is 0 and we will again iterate and find the profit. And the profit is nothing but maximum of the profit or the profit obtained from the current transaction which is right of i minus left of i and at the end simply return the profit. Let's run this code and it's giving a perfect result. Let's run it for all the test cases and it's running fine. Let's submit this and it got submitted. The time complexity over here is O of n for the for loops that we are using and also the space complexity is O of n for this. Now let's see how we can reduce the space complexity to O of 1 and solve this question in single pass. So this was the previous approach wherein we had a buy sell array and we found out the profit. Now do we really need this array? In this array what we are doing is finding the minimum until this particular point which can also be done by using a single variable and in the cell we are finding the maximum and the profit is just cell minus buy. So instead of having all this we can just have a single variable wherein we store the minimum price at which we can buy the stock and we can store the maximum profit at every index we are on or maximum profit that we can achieve by trying to sell the particular stock at that particular day. Initially we can say that the maximum profit is zero and we have bought the share in the maximum price possible. So now when we are at day one we will see whether the current price is minimum that the pre than the previous price. If yes then we can buy it on that particular day which will be minimizing our buying price and maximizing our profit. So the buy price becomes 7 and now what about the sell price? The sell price for this particular one would also be 7 because we are trying to sell it on day 1 itself. The maximum profit that we attain by doing this is 0 on day 1 that is we are buying at the same and selling at the same. Now let's go to day 2. On day 2 the price is reduced so now we are going to say that buying on day 2 would be much efficient than buying on day 1. So the buy price becomes 1 and the max profit would be buying on day 2 and selling it on day 2 as well. That gives us profit of 0. When we move to day 3 over here my buy price was still minimum on day 2 so my buy price remains the same but my selling price over here is increased and the profit now has increased because I will try to sell it on day 3 which gives me 5 minus 1 that is 4. Similarly when you continue this you will see that the maximum profit that is attained is on day 5 which gives us buying at 1 and selling it on the current day with a price of 6 which gives us 5 as the profit which is maximum till now. So our max profit changes and Similarly, when we continue to do it, our max profit will always show us the maximum profit that I could have achieved. So over here, my max profit becomes 5. So in this approach, what we did was we simply had variables with us giving us the buy price and telling us the max profit. What we were doing is we were trying to sell the stock on the ith day for which we are trying to calculate. 
and maximizing the profit by updating the buy prices. The space complexity has now reduced to O of 1 and also this is a single pass solution that is we can just do it in one pass we do not need to iterate over and over on this array again. So let's go ahead and code this out. So this was our previous solution and we do not need this anymore. So let's just remove this. We'll just have a max profit variable and we'll iterate over the array. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to update the min price. So for that we also need a minimum price which is initially integer dot max value and let's comment this out and try to fill in the min price. So if my current price that is this is lesser than the minimum value I'll update min with the current price and my max profit will be maximum of either the max profit or this becomes price of i minus the buy price which is min and that's all at the end we return the max profit let's try to run this and we have some issues it's giving a perfect result. Let's submit this and this got submitted. So the time complexity over here still remains the same but it is a one pass solution and the space complexity is now O of 1. So that's it for this video guys. Do share your thoughts in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates on the videos we post. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Till then keep learning, keep coding.